Hello, Gemini. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Rome. I am Michelle. Welcome to the channel if this is you just newly found me. Um, I am an astrologer and tarot card reader, and I use tarot, oracle cards, and astrology to divine message for you, messages for you every single week um, to give you insights into the energy so that you can get ahead of it and use it. Um, so please do subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Gemini content comes out every single Thursday. Um, for those of you that know, I always have an extended reading too, and I invite you to join me for that deeper insight and even more information. Um, there's two ways to go about that now, the traditional way through Vimeo or by joining my memberships. The Unbound Membership allows you full access to all the extendeds forever for the life of your membership. Plus it gets you a lot of great bonuses, including two members only chats with me where you can get your tarot card questions ready and you can rely on the fact that I will be there for you twice a week. Um, at least, cause I can add more to it too as we grow. So don't you wanna know? That'd be so awesome. Um, yeah, let's get into the astrology first. The astrology looks really beautiful. Your 10th house is jam packed with a lot of great energy and, and Mercury just entered there too. You have Mercury, your 10th house is, is Pisces. So, you know, you have Mercury, you have Jupiter, you have Neptune. I mean, there's just like, there's so much possibility in, in your career and, and what you can build out and, and what you can do. There's just a lot of dexterity there. The sun is there too, because we're in Pisces season right now. Um, Mercury, not such a great energy in Pisces, but it is still energy. And it your, your dreams might actually get a little bit of, uh, your dreams might actually be articulating to you more, or you may, uh, your intuition may get a, like a, it's through dreams and intuition that you're going to get the clearest communications right now is, is what I'm saying. Um, Mercury is your ruling dignitary and it is at, at detriment in, in Pisces. So if you're feeling a little bit tired or you feel a little bit like your words aren't coming as free as they usually do, this is a time for brainstorming and conceptualizing and allowing yourself to dream, not necessarily putting word to paper um, or doing anything or trying to do anything practical because nothing in Pisces energy is practical. This is about allowing yourself to expand and dream and believe in the possibilities, right? There's a lot of optimism that goes with this. Even if you feel a little bit like tongue tied, um, that would be that would be expected. The more and we have we have beautiful energy in your um, in your ninth house, too, because uh, OK, Saturn is still there. Yeah, but Mars and Venus just like, bam, exploded into it uh, over the weekend. And ultimately, that gives a lot more energy and, and value to uh, like learning about foreign things, different things, exploring different religions. Like, in other words, you could do so much to um, be inspired by all these new ideas. There's so many new ideas there and you love to learn. So ultimately, this is a great time for you to put your energy into learning something new, learning something foreign, learning something, going going abroad if you can travel. But if not, just learn about it. Not just learning a foreign language, but like learning about different cultures, especially their spirituality or their religions. This is a great time. And you'll get a lot of inspiration from that to help out your 10th house endeavors and pursuits. See? Um, so that'll be work out real well. Um, and you just jot down the ideas. This is a time for idea making, not necessarily uh, doing the hard work or the particular work. Um, and then the one challenge I got to say is your first house because <laughs> uh, Lilith just slipped in there and she could be a bit of a bitch, uh, which is good. Sometimes that's a good thing, right? But what Lilith does is she feeds on pain and suffering. So she wants to make you ashamed of yourself. She wants to make you embarrassed. Um, and, and she encourages you to do things, especially with this aspect that she's making to the South Node, that take the easy way out. So just be very, very wary right now of being tempted to take the easy way out or be extremely manipulative. I think with... with especially with how you communicate with people, um, telling lies will come very easily for you right now. It will, because you'll be able to, and it may be come too easily because if Mer with, with Mercury and Pisces, if things are jumbled in your brain, you might be talking about illusions as if they're real without even knowing that you're lying. 
You know, it's just like, it's just like you're, you're so wrapped up in dreams that you believe it too. So be, be wary of that because that could come back to smack you in the ass, um, making you either embarrassed or ashamed of the way that you behaved. That's something to look for for the next month or so. Okay. Let's get into the cards. Whoo. Glad we reviewed that, right? Damn. Gemini, I love you guys so much. How's everything going? I hope I hope things are going really well for you. Um, you know what? No, I'm not taking these. You better give me an independent reading, for Gemini. Gemini, please give me Gemini energy. Gemini energy. Gemini specific energy, please. Gemini. Okay. All right. I see. You. I see you rocking it. All right. I see you rocking it, spirit. I see it happening. So we have something here. Give with gratitude and grace. There was a power of, in the past, somebody was stingy as fuck. Somebody didn't want to give shit. Or, I don't know. This could also be sticking your neck out too much. But usually it's like you didn't want to give shit. Somebody held on to things or was very closed off. Um, didn't want to participate in the, the banquet. Didn't want to really participate in anything or somebody who didn't contribute at all. And then we have pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. This is in the past. It's almost like, um, it's almost like, uh, this, this happened in the past. So realizing or unknowing or understanding, uh, somebody's kind of like, uh, non-participatory behavior um mm, i don't know what this means though let's turn over the other cards give with gratitude and grace it's almost like somebody wants something <laughs> yeah it's like indian given or not necessarily indian given but oh i'm gonna give you shit but then i'm gonna like 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 i'm gonna keep a string in it there, it's not like no strings attached. There was a shit ton of strings attached. It's like it's like setting people up to or like like to be to owe you in the future or um, like somebody saying that you owe them or some, something like that. Um, use your mind wisely, and this could have been a manipulation, right? A manipulation like I'm not gonna give you this unless you give me that. That kind of energy. Mm, I don't really fucking like that. But let hawk uh, let hawk spirit let spirit be your guide. By the way, my words have not been coming out right the whole time. So I don't really, I apologize. Uh, time to collaborate. Okay. All right. And then we have act as if. Um, so it's almost like you realize, okay. All right. You may suddenly be realizing that you now have to work with this person. And you know how this person is. You know that this person is going to be lazy or going to try to get out of things, or going to try to back you into a wall to do something just to be manipulative. Or like, yeah, yeah, or like that, they, like you're aware of it, you're wary of it. That's why Hawk is here, that you have a sort of aerial view of it, time to collaborate and act as if, act as if everything is okay, blend in, try to blend in, this is chameleon spirit, try to make it look like uh, you fit in, or try to make it look like, like, I ain't going to say anything, right? I'm not, I'm not going to get into it with this person. Um, I'm just going to try to do my work and lie low, right? But keep an eye on shit. Also a sense of trying to be very spiritual and think in your highest capacity, think as your highest self and and allow yourself to allow spirits to guide you like do the right thing so you're just trying to like keep everything working keep everything functioning um but ultimately there's just this understanding of um this is just such a positive card it's my when pigs fly card i don't think that you real i i think that you thought this could never happen that's kind of what i thought I, I think like this, this happening in the past, this, this behavior in the past, I think you thought this could never happen. This is, this was never what this person would be, but now you understand it very clearly and it hasn't been discussed really, has it? It really hasn't been talked about. Somebody's trying to act like they didn't do shit. <laughs> okay. So how is Gemini going to respond to that? 
Uh, let's see. Claim your independence. <laughs> okay. And then take time out. Okay. So ultimately you may very well just be trying to separate yourself from the situation and decide, or at least spirit is guiding you to decide. Don't fucking work with this person. Like find a way to get out of it. Don't even engage or involve yourself in this manipulative behavior or manipulative bullshit. Right? Because it could bring the worst out of you and you don't want to be bought down. Um, that's pretty much it. So ultimately, that's what it's saying. Like, this is a good time to go on vacation. This is a good time to go on a break. This is a good time to basically make the decision to go off on your own and not work with somebody or not have to like um, try to figure out, okay, I just heard this. So it could also be this isn't the best time for you to be working with people because you could tend to manipulate a lot more and you could tend to be more deceptive and it won't bring out the best in you. So it's, it's better for you to work by yourself right now. Um, claim or claim your independence from whatever kind of collaboration you felt that you had to disappear in 1111 awakening, like, like, like basically you're not going to be able to be in the presence of this person without, always thinking about because that's why the past came out always thinking about what happened in the past you're not going to be able to fucking like be yourself and and be okay in this situation so it's saying get yourself out of the fucking situation um do it uh, get yourself on another project at work you know um ask to collaborate with other people or decide to do an independent project right now um take time out also take time out for self-healing and self-wellness um, claim your independence, cat spirit. This could be a good time to um, leave leave a position or leave a job, depending on how bad it is, right? Leave a position, leave a job, like get something new. Um, leave a leave the relationship, right? Get something new or take a break from it. Um, like I said, with all this wonderful energy in your ninth house, it's a good time to travel. It's a good time to get away. If you have that lifestyle, do it. This is a great time to just take the break, retreat, and spend time by yourself. I know that you're naturally a social person. That's Gemini energy. Um, but ultimately, this isn't the best time to be social. This is the best time to allow your dreams to kind of entertain you and take you places, but not allow them to necessarily take other people places because this could be the time when people get caught up in your illusions and you, because you get caught up in your dream. In other words, you're very vulnerable right now to allowing things to happen in that dream state and foggy brain. And you could get into situations where people think that you have intentions that you don't have or you won't be able to su sustain long term because you are very vulnerable to believing your own bullshit right now. Okay, so it's not a great time to get into any promises or any collaborations with people right now. This is not the best time for relationships and to begin new stuff. It's not. If you've been married forever, God bless you. I hope you stay happy. This could also, though, be a time to, like, like, like allow yourself to take some space and take some distance. Um, you don't want to get caught up in self-deceiving stuff or over-promising yourself, right? Telling somebody that you can do something or that you have intentions to do specific work or, or that you feel a certain way because it's not, it's not real, it's 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 very easy for you to be deceived by a dream by an illusion and especially stuff that is really simple you know if it's too easy it's because something's up really and you, and just ultimately you need to to know that right now um it doesn't mean anything bad about about you it just you're a little bit vulnerable right now and i think that that's mercury going into pisces and you are a little bit vulnerable right now and it's that's not a bad thing because it's actually a good thing if you take a break from being social and being really public um and especially a break if you're looking for new relationships or new partnerships of any kind don't do it right now because you could get caught up in your own dream and be lying like fucking crazy to somebody, but not even know that you're lying because you're just swept away in that, in that darker energy. And when you get yourself back, you're going to be like, where the fuck have I been for the past month? So this is not the greatest time to start anything new that involves any kind of collaboration. It's just not. 
it's just not. Let's get into more Oracle cards. Uh, take time out. Okay. Um, pa oh, fuck this shit. I love it. Spirit, you are the freaking best. Spirit has a sense of humor, man. Maybe it's just spirit through me because I have a sense of humor. I don't know. But this motherfucker got a sense of humor. Let me show you why. Passion ignited. And then it's like stand your ground. <laughs> in other words, it's like, oh, you want to get up all in the feels. Oh, passion ignited. But resist it. Resist it. Resist it. Resist somebody else's, oh, I fucking love you so much. And resist yourself, like all the passion you feel, use it toward your, like getting your, getting your ideas. Like, I don't fucking, I care. Splatter paint, whatever you want to do, brainstorm. But don't fucking like stand your ground against this passion. I have so much passion for you. I care about you so much. It's like, it's like, I want to be independent right now. I need my freedom right now. Freedom is so important right now. <laughs> That's what it's saying. And if your passion goes into being independent right now, that's the best place to push your, put your passion. But I thought it was really funny because it was like, if you get into that lovey-dovey modality, happy birthday, Doug Denny, there's a sense of, no, nope, don't do it. Stop. Don't let yourself do it. Just say no. Nope. <laughs> But definitely um, allow your passions to help you explore uh, different aspects of yourself. And take time for yourself. This is a really good time. Just especially of like a spring break and shit. I know that's going to sound crazy, especially if you're in college. But it's almost like if you get lost in that haze, like, like, Go take a, take a, like it's, instead of like, <clears throat> like for example, um, don't go on spring break this year. Don't, don't involve yourself in that fucking super social crap. Instead, go to Europe and study ancient temples. You know, uh, go, 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 go abroad and, you know, research in foreign libraries. That's the kind of stuff that's really going to feed your soul and keep you aligned with your highest self. Instead of going and dumping yourself into the trash heap of overindulgence and illusion. And that's going to, that could really fuck you up. I'm just letting you know. It could really fuck you up. Round and round. This is a karmic cycle. Maybe you've done stuff before. Or you're starting to see this is, this is how you get stuck. Like you've been here before is what it's saying. And you have a choice now because of your consciousness and awareness you have an awareness now that you didn't have before you've been here before but you have an awareness that you didn't have before so you can make a different choice so you are empowered this time around breathe okay so this is all spirit trying to help your ass out gemini it's basically saying take some fucking time grounding for air signs is meditation because <sighs> reconnecting to your breath is grounding especially for air signs like grounding like putting your feet in the earth very important and in fact if you want to double up on that energy then sit your ass on a pile of dirt or out in the forest right or on top of a mountain or on a beach like you can ground physically but you need to ground your breath that's going to help you clear your thoughts and it's saying that in this energy it's so fucking important that's why it's saying stand your ground fuck the passion stop breathe Count to 10. Take a breath before you answer anyone. Like, don't just answer. Because you guys always have a great answer for some shit. Don't just answer right now. Be like, like, force yourself to think. Because Mercury and Pisces, it's not that it can't think. It needs a little bit more time to get to the ability, to get, bring itself to back to articulating what it thinks so give yourself more time breathing and meditation is going to really help slow you down be objective about your thoughts understand what you're thinking understand what you're feeling and and taking those second long breaks and just taking those breath breaks in any kind of situation like maybe you don't have a choice you have to collaborate at work right it ain't a fucking choice right so this is like before you say anything in that boardroom, be like, 
Take a breath. You, you don't even have to make a big show of it, but don't just blurt shit out. Instead, stop and breathe. Don't even think first. Let yourself breathe so that your brain is clear so that you can think clearly and you're giving yourself a little extra time. Uh, and then we have deep knowing, and there you go. So this is a beautiful way to understand yourself better. You have an objectivity now that you did not have before. And so you have a choice to not let yourself get sucked into the bowels of your shit, right? This is also um, to have more understanding, to be more understanding. Also to be illuminated with, uh, with yeah, a depth of knowledge that you, you didn't have before. I don't want to go too far into that because I, I already said it. Um, this is a really good time right now to get, get our asses over to tarot. I'm just going to take you over to tarot. I hope you guys join me. I love you and I'll see you there.